Welcome to your Cohesion Classroom. In this lesson, we will take a look at how to use place value to round to the nearest 10 or 100. At the end of this video, you'll have access to our tips and takeaways, allowing you to focus on the content being presented. You can always access any of our tips and takeaways from the lesson page before or after watching the lesson. When rounding a number, students find a number that tells about how much or about how many. Typically, students will be asked to round to the nearest place value, either tens or hundreds. To identify place value means to identify which number is in the ones place, tens place, or hundreds place. Let's take a look at an example of how to use place value to round to the nearest 10 or 100. You're having a party where you invited 47 people. In this case, you might want to purchase an approximate number of supplies like napkins, plates, and cups. Students may first be introduced to this concept through the use of a number line. This is an important step in the process because students must identify what two numbers the number in question falls between, in this case 40 and 50. Point out to students that 47 is closer to 50 than 40 on the number line. So when rounding to the nearest 10, 47 is closer to 50. After a student masters the number line, they'd be introduced to another strategy for rounding, called rounding using place value. When given the number 47 and asked to round to the nearest 10, students would underline the tens place and look to the right to circle the number in the ones place. Students would then think, is the number in the ones place greater than or less than five? This is due to the fact that 5 falls directly in the middle of a group of 10. Since the number 7 is greater than 5, the student would round up to 50 from 47. Similarly, when asked to round to the nearest 100, students may also see a number line. Point out to students that 243 is closer to 200, so 243 would round down to 200. When rounding using place value and you're given the number 243 and asked to round to the nearest hundred, students would underline the hundreds place and look to the right to circle the number in the tens place. Students would then think, is the number in the tens place greater than or less than five? This is due to the fact that the five falls directly in the middle of a group of 10. Since the number four is less than five, the student would round down to 200 from 243. Students may make mistakes due to not rounding to the correct place value. For example, rounding 243 to 240 instead of rounding down to 200 when asked to round to the nearest 100. Reiterate to students the process of underlining the place value being rounded and circling the number to the right while identifying if the number should be rounded up or staying the same. Another possible error students might make is when rounding down, changing the digit to the wrong hundred. For example, rounding 786 to the nearest hundred would round up to 800. Students apply the same logic to rounding down. For example, when rounding 718, the student may round down to 600. In this case, the number line is a useful resource for students to see that 718 is between 700 and 800. Therefore, you round down to 700, not to the next 100, which would be 600. If you found this lesson difficult, see our video titled How to Estimate to Find the Sum and Difference Later on, students may use rounding to estimate when multiplying. Uniting students and families in learning, we are Cohesion Education. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.